Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the dialog component from Angular Material. The dialog component is a pop-up container that appears above all your contents when triggered. You will need two things for the component, a trigger to activate the dialog, and a component for the content inside the dialog. Before we begin, make sure to add Angular Material to your project. If you're using Visual Studio Code, Open the terminal by pressing the Ctrl and Tilde keys and then execute the ng add command. Select a theme, set up a typography, and enable Angular animations. To begin, add the material dialog module to your project. Go to the app module file, add the import statement, and add it to the app. Go into an HTML page and add a button to trigger the dialog. Attach a click event to it so we can click on the button. Go into the TypeScript file and define the method for the click event. Import the math.log class from Angular Material and inject it in the constructor of the class. Lastly, call the open method inside the click method to activate the dialog. For the argument, we need to pass in the component that will be used in the dialog. Since we do not have a component for the dialog, we cannot pass anything in yet. Create a new component, open the terminal in Visual Studio Code, and run the ng generate component command. Once the component files are generated, pass in the name of the component. If you are using Angular 8 and below, Make sure to add the component that the dialog is using inside the entry components array in the app module file. You need to do this for Angular versions below 9 because of how the project is compiled. For efficiency, the compiler will only compile the components that are declared in the code. For example, to successfully declare the greetings component, we need to take the value from the selector and add it inside of an HTML page. Since this was not necessary for the material dialog, the component needs to be added to the entry components array. To transfer data into the dialog, add a new JSON object argument in the open method. Add a property called data and pass in the data that you want to transfer. Then go into the TypeScript file for the component and import math.log data from Angular Material. Lastly, Inject the data inside the constructor by using the inject decorator. For the type, use the type of the data that was passed in. If we take a look at our code, we're passing in a number. 
So the type of our data will be a number. Now that the data is successfully transferred, it can be used within the dialog. We can call it in the TypeScript file or in the HTML file. For more complex data, we can pass in a JSON object instead. To transfer data out from the dialog, go to the dialog component TypeScript file and add math dialog ref to the imports. Then inject it inside the constructor. For the angle brackets, pass in the component's name. Override the ng on destroy method. Call the close method from the dialog ref object. And then pass in the data that you want to transfer. Lastly, go back to the function that triggers the dialog. Declare a reference to the trigger. Call the after close method. and subscribe to it. The results argument represent the data that we pass in the closed method. As you can see, whenever the dialog close, we get the data. Instead of closing the dialog by clicking on the dark area around it, we can add a button to close the dialog. Go into the HTML page of the dialog component, add a button, and attach a click event. Go into the TypeScript file and define the function. Inside the function, call the close method. We can also override the default settings for the dialog. Locate the code where you call the open method. Inside the JSON object where you pass in the data, add the width and height properties. And then give them a string value of the dimension you want.
We can also position the dialog by using the position property and setting the top, right, bottom, and left values. To prevent the user from closing the dialog when they click on the dock area, set the Disable Close property to True. Alternatively, we can remove the dark area by setting the Has Backdrop property to false. For full list and details of the properties, visit the Angular Material website posted in the video description. That's all for the dialog component. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.